I'm tired of not understanding how money works, okay? I'm tired of like people just be spouting out all this financial information and me not really getting it. And so this little lizard brain is trying to grasp my mind around all of this kind of stuff because just recently, the, the Fed just raised interest rates by 75 basis points. Okay, 75 basis points. What does this mean? How does this decrease the money supply? And what does this mean for the crypto markets? What does this mean for you and me and businesses? How does this, uh, you know, tank and crash the, the markets out there, namely, more specifically, crypto? In this video, I'm gonna explain to you what I'm learning and how this is all makes sense to me, just in a very lizard brain uh, way. Now, if you're, you're new to this channel, my name is Eric. I'm gonna journey to my next Bitcoin. Hit the subscribe button and, and like button if this make, makes sense to you. Now, I'm gonna to explain to you how money works and how it's created in the in you know in the economy. 95% of the money is created by this phrase, fractional reserve banking. Okay, and it is pretend that's the bank. Okay, this is the bank, and let's say the bank has a thousand dollars and we got to loan out that thousand dollars. Well, every time they loan out uh, uh, some money, they have to keep a small percentage of that within the bank. They can't loan a hundred percent of that. So let's just say 90% for lizard brain terms. 90% gets rolled out. That's $900 gets to another person in another bank, right? And uh, that person, uh, they have to buy a mortgage or whatever they're, they're using for whatever reasons, right? We'll go over those reasons in a little bit. Well, that person, that bank loans out 90% of that, which is $810 into another bank. Well, that bank loans, again, 90% of that, and that is $729. And then uh, of that, another person gets loaned out, which is $656 to another bank. So now you've got a total of $4,095, okay, that you've got in circulation with all of this right here, okay, but you have created $3,095 from what? From the original $1,000. That's how money is created. When banks are loaning to other banks, this is called fractional reserve banking. Um, it's, it's a total Ponzi scheme. It's a total scam because this is an impossible reality, right? This is, <laughs> I've, I've used this example or I've used many examples like this, like my car in a garage. Um, please check out the other videos for that. But this is an impossible reality. You totally see the scam of this, right? It's like me trying to loan out the same car to seven different people and selling that same car to seven different people and say, you all own 100% of this car. How can seven people own 100% of the same car? It doesn't make sense. This is fractional reserve banking. This is a very bad thing, but this is how 95% of the money is um, created. Now, when banks loan, they loan out with a percentage interest rate, okay? This is higher than what the Fed sets their, uh, the percentage interest rate because they have to make the difference. Now, when the Fed raises that interest rate, there are less people borrowing that money, meaning there's less uh, money that's being created in the economy. When the Fed lowers that interest rate, that means there's more people uh, borrowing money that's it's cheaper, okay? And let, let me get into this, but first we gotta ask the question, why do people borrow money? Well, there's a very there's a lot of reasons. I split this up into two categories. I'm not sure if this was helpful to you, but this is helpful to me. Individuals and businesses, okay? There's, of course, there's many other ways to loan out money, but this primarily for this video, it's it's two ways, businesses and individuals. Individuals can use it to, you know, renovate their homes, buy houses with a mortgage, car loans, credit cards, start businesses, um, and grow businesses. So that's the first reason. For businesses, it's mainly to start businesses or expand on businesses, but something like startup costs, supply, um, suppliers usually need money up front, and so you know, people will take that loan and keep the cash flow going. They wanna, um, you know, private equity, they wanna buy businesses, or maybe not a startup, but like if you see like a car wash for sale, you wanna buy that, you, you know, take out an SBA or whatever it is, um, and of course, expansion. Okay, when people, when businesses want to expand, they take out loans, they buy land, they buy house, or they buy uh, buildings or whatever else. So they, they take out these loans for the same reasons, similar reasons as individuals. Now, when people are, you know, borrowing this money, it's all creating more money because it's going into other banks and banks are using that money to then loan out more and loan out more and loan out more. That's how we create money. Now, what happens when inflation hits, right? It makes things more expensive. Less people can start affording less things. But when we raise interest rates, it's supposed to lower inflation because it's supposed to, uh, it's supposed to de-incentivize people borrowing money, okay? And when interest rates go up, 
when people people are, are you know borrowing money at, at a slower pace but still borrowing money they have people have less uh, to spend less money to spend on things and I thought this was very um, helpful for me and hopefully it'll be really helpful for you this is a mortgage calculator okay say we have a house price of four hundred thousand dollars down payment of eighty thousand dollars lo loan term of 30 years and an interest rate of about six percent right now it's five point nine these mortgage rates they change all the time and you have a total monthly payment of it says here two thousand two hundred and forty seven now if you were to borrow at a lower interest rate something like two years ago when the fed was doing this my personal home loan uh my mortgage interest is 2.6 okay so it's uh sixteen hundred dollars for a mortgage payment compared to the six which is twenty two hundred and forty seven dollars so that's a difference of like six hundred dollars a month that of, of discretionary $650 a month of discretionary spending of, of people six, $650 of people, you know, like that could be groceries for the whole month. That could be an extra trip. That could be, uh, that's almost another phone. You know what I'm saying? Like people have less, this is how much interest rate affects, uh, uh, the spending. It cuts it like, you know, it, if, if people are spending more on their, on their loans, on their, uh, mortgages, on their car loans or whatever, they have less to spend on fun items and what goes first okay what are the first things that go risk on assets risky assets such as crypto okay so this is to me the direct correlation between um interest ra interest rates being raised and crypto tanking because if we look here okay if the fed increases interest rates okay it decreases which is bad well, i'm putting it red it decreases um, spending and then the first thing to go of course with spending is risk on assets like crypto okay so like people have less money to spend on their jpegs on nfts people have less money to spend on you know dogecoin or bitcoin or anything this is you know i know and you know that bitcoin is the is the sound soundest money on earth um, you know, unmanipulated, uh, purest, uh, you know, the closest thing to gold on digital space, but even better in digital space. Uh, I know this, you know this, but people don't. People just see it as a, you know, risk on asset. People, people without regulation, it truly is, at least right now, it's being viewed as that. So th this to me was very helpful uh, in learning, okay, I need to start paying attention to the Federal Reserve. I need to sp start paying attention to how much money people have uh, to spend because to me, the best time to invest in crypto is when the Fed starts printing money. When they drop those interest rates, when money starts expanding in the in the supply, everyone starts getting a lot more money, finding a lot more money in their bank account. They're, they're Rather, they're really spending less. They can start spending money in crypto and that's when you start going hard into um, you know just investing in all this kind of stuff. To me, don't try to fight the Fed. I'm trying to ride these waves and hopefully you can ride them too. Anyways, Cowboy, thanks so much for watching. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.